Let's go to war! Hi everyone. Welcome to the WarGamingAddict.com's review of, or guide to, Roll20.net. Really great little application this. Web based, fantastic, really easy to use, and great for doing some wargaming with. How do you use it? I'm going to show you. It's also completely free. So, let's head into Virtual Tabletop, and I'm just going to create a new campaign here to show you what can be done. So, here's your basic tabletop. And if you want to know how much, how big it is, it's 25 units by 25 units. Now those units can be anything. They can be inches. They can be miles. They can be kilometers. They can be whatever you want them to be. Do note, though, that you can have it hexes or you can have it squares. So whichever kind of game you want to play, it's entirely up to you. Let's say, for example, I was going to create a 3 foot by 3 foot table surface. 3 foot is 36 inches. I'm going to say 1 square is an inch. 36 by 36. I click OK. What the unit is makes absolutely no difference whatsoever because, to me, it's an inch. Get that out the way. And here, in this little box, we want to go to the map because here I want to make an outdoor map so I go to my art library over here and I say give me some grass and lo and behold it gives me grass okay not very big stretch it out a little bit whack it up in the corner right click copy paste Let's do two more so we have a nice little grassy playing surface. There, yeah, that took all of 30 seconds and that looks pretty cool. Once you move away from the map and you go to the objects, you can no longer grab hold of your map tiles, which allows you to set some scenery, huts, so on and so forth and again let's just switch back to the map let's put a hut switch back to the objects and can't grab hold of the hut now let's give ourselves a playing piece these marketplace ones you can actually buy them they're gorgeous art they're not expensive if you're going to play in a specific time period and you find some great marketplace art, it's well worth investing in. Find the token I want, put him down, there you go. It's got a great range ruler, so it tells me in feet, but I know it's inches, 25 feet is 5 inches. It's got a dice roller, which will appear in your chat over here so I want to roll a die 20 15 I want to roll a d20 plus 5 I need to roll above 10 tells me if I'm successful or not fantastic all the dice types are in there you can do exploding dice too there's another cool feature and that's the if you click on Stop it. You have to actually select him with the selector. <laughs> here you have three attributes that can be used for record keeping. And here you have a variety of tokens that can be used 
to keep track of various states. You click on that, you can actually go in, let's call our Viking Lars, show the nameplate, give him a health of, or a strength of 4, an agility of 3, and a health of 5. Save the changes, there's Lars, and when we click on him, his attributes will pop up. You can also use playing cards or put in your own deck of events. or put in your own deck of events and create a deck. Obviously you will need some images for doing that. But very easy to do. Dice roller. Turn order if you want to play against somebody. You can keep track of the turns. Everything you need to war gain it's all here, accessible online, it's all stored online. You can play with others, You can. Uh, it has voice and support, so on and so forth, so that you can, you can communicate with the others all through this system, and it's free. What more do you want? Roll20.net, great place to, to play war games. This is the wargamingaddict.com, signing off. Star.